Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to our anime reaction. Today, be reacting to the new episode of Shingula Frontier Episode 2. The first episode was really good. Looking for the second episode. I just want to get right into it. Of course, though, I will be breaking this down for YouTube. So if you do want the full-length reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. Get full-length freedom reactions, exclusive freedom reactions, and so much more. Because later here, we're going to be getting access to the Overlord movie. This was it called? The Sacred Kingdom. I only got movie tickets to go see it. I might share some like stuff from the movie. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check out our Patreon for exclusive content. Because it's 100% going to be there. And then, of course, we are going to react to it later. And oh my god, I can't not wait for this movie i am so freaking hyped but besides the point though let's jump into shango off frontier and let's get into it that's a deep fall <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Shit. His boys found out he went without him. Oh my god. This guy got caught red handed. Oh my god, they found it by using game logic. He literally went for the Crystal Scorpion, and then of course they shared inventory. Then literally as soon as they realized he had, he was like, oh, we gotta go to where he's at. Huh? Why is this guy tweaking? This guy really wants a unique scenario so he can get some rare gear from it, bro. Bro's tweaking. Those all of his boys have gotten one except him. <laughs> Looks like our boys gave him the update that they need to repair it because they need to get Beatrice to become an ancient craftsman. So they give him, he's giving them the sitch. My question is, what's going to be down there? You know what I'm saying? What's going to be like a boss? Is there going to be some hidden scenario? Like... What's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, he triggered something. This guy. Oh, I forgot. They didn't tell them because these are his teammates they brought Weatherman with. Wait, you know what? This is interesting. This is Weatherman's facility where he made all of his shit. Is he about a diff? No shot, he wins and one shot it. Hey, yo. Oh, she's about to fight it. Oh, my God. The hype. They're like, we be the, we be a colossal, you know, we can take on this thing. I'm surprised the cat blocked its shot, though. Because of the fact the cat's been the strongest thing, he's been one shotting everything ever since I got here, so this is a surprise. Then again, it had a block ability. What the hell? Oh my god, he just instantly broke his back. The music though, the hot, it goes hard here. Oh my god! Oh, blocked it? No shot. Somebody's just gonna hit his back now because it's so wide open. It can't defend now, it has both its shields up. Oh, never mind. I retract all previous statements. Oh my god, he's about to do his thing. Oh my god. He's about to boost it. Oh, it's gone. No shot survives that. Wait, what? Did it not kill it? Or weakened it? Oh, it's their turn. Oh my god! <laughs> this skill's so busted she has access to. Okay, there's no that's the no shot's not a wrap after that. All or nothing. Oh bruh. Oh my god. They're just jumping him. You know they gotta make sure he's just done. You know, gotta confirm the kill. 
you know, my question is, if these things are from a forge, right? And this is the same person who we fought originally first season, the main Colossal. If they were all of all the golems in their prime without being rusted, they'd probably be a menace. Now I'm thinking about it. Because that thing was pretty strong. The reason why they went so easily was because one, it was already weak. And two, it was old. Oh, he's thinking about that sounds like rust. Oh my god, I forgot about that. So it looks like they were hoping a card key would drop from the thing they beat because the fact that it would be similar like the rust where you look around and get access to card key and rust where you like walk around, go like oil on that jazz and get one. Or you might get one from a... a uh what's it called scientist and i thought they were gonna get one from the thing too but it looks like they didn't get one so they're trying to hack the door open or they might have to go find one but the only reason why they're not able to get in there right away right, because he has ability though that's some hack stuff but it's at such a low level it's not working oh never mind just worked what's inside that's the question Oh my god. Can I just say their relationship is so funny? It's like a gamer trio, like your boys. It's just hilarious seeing how they interact with one another. <laughs> oh my god, bro joked with him and now he's getting in his hands. This guy. This anime is way too good. This anime is way too fun for gamers. Like, if you're a gamer, you're a kid loving it. Oh, interesting. That's some lore. Bro might have found the final boss with lore. This some hidden lore around the map. Oh my god, did you find the key item? Oh my god, she probably found the key item, probably. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god. Bruh, yeah. Bro's cook. Bro wants a dip, but he can't. Oh my god, he ratted her out to them. It's so funny, they beat the one Colossal. Everyone wants to hang out with them or like know what's going on or get information from them. Everyone's taking an interest in them because they beat like the thing that's OP. They, like there's seven of them in the game. I think there's seven, right? And of course, now they're popular because of it. <laughs> Everyone's giving the looks because they're popular. Oh my god, I forgot he does that. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> it's so sus. Bro <laughs> wants to get out of there. Oh my god, he got beat up. They're just stalking him so hard. No matter how to know my gun point, be like, how do we get access to that? Oh my god, this is so funny. It's like Emru-chan doesn't Oh my god! He snitched! They snitched on him! The crazed animal lovers. 
<laughs> run, bro, run. <laughs> they ratted him out. So that was a new episode of Shangri-La Frontier episode two. Oh my God, that was such a good episode. Can I just quickly say the way the comedy between their grip works is absolutely hilarious. Plus on top of that too, the way they reference stuff from the first season is like so like s chill. But at the same time, so cool. Like, just like a quick example is like some of the stuff they're mentioning about like some of the things like the rabbit people who are like chasing them or asking questions about them. We understand that like they want to know more about the rabbit because they want like an actual pet in the game because you can't have one, NPC wise. So that's why they took an interest in them. But it's so cool seeing like how this anime utilizes the first season as just quick remarks in the show to talk about certain things or like the uh, this really push plot points forward and then just bring them back later i just really like that that's just like some really good planning right there and, and can i just quickly say the game references in this episode were awesome like i want to give just a quick few examples so first of all we have them going down there getting some rope as soon as they talk about rope they remind me of terraria because if you have rope in terraria you can go pretty much anywhere and just make it an elevator from the top of the world to hell it works so well like and this him and his boys when he's trying to go down the down the basement area the find what's up with the secret treasure of course he's like oh we're gonna get down there oh we had some rope or something like that hey i got some rope if you need he's like oh yeah thanks ah! <laughs> dude this dude, this just chemistry is so freaking good it is so good and then on top of that too it's so funny because like they're like how did you find me bro it's like we have shared inventory you forgot to toggle it off dude and so like as soon as you realize you got some crystal scorpion drops you're like how do you win that also we want some also where are you at right now we're coming to you they kind of connected the dots you know for a fact though they are so mad at him but also so excited to see what he's gonna do next because like they know they don't access any, that unique scenario she has access to her own and her friend his friend doesn't have access to no one so it's so funny seeing their chemistry where they shoot shots at each other and then he just he, he shoots struts at him and speaking fact and he just gets absolutely mad bro and it's just so freaking good dude it's so freaking good like when I do an anime reaction, I'm looking for three things in it. First of all, it's going to be fun. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be like good for YouTube reactions, all that jazz. And this anime is definitely one of those ones I've had now recently that's been like, oh my God, it's so freaking good. You know what I'm saying? And you can probably tell just by my enthusiasm too. I'm really keeping it real with you guys when I do these kind of things. So I don't want to like be like, oh my God, it's so freaking hype, like fake. So I just want to quickly like throw that out there. That's how I do things here. But then versus the enemy though, the gatekeeper, so like, he triggers the trap. He doesn't realize that. I'm like, yeah, you should realize this. You play so many games. It's going to be a trigger for a trap. And monster spawns in. Now, keep in mind, I'm pretty confident to say this uh, facility is probably Weatherman's laboratory or something related to it because we just see a lot of a like, gear or weapons and stuff, so, not like, weapons, but machines in his style. And I thought that thing they were going to fight was going to be absolute menace for a gatekeeper. Like, don't get me wrong. It'll still menace. The thing with it is though, they had so many people. They had high level NPCs and they have like one OP NPC. And on top of that too, they had the boys who beat the Colossal. There was really no shot that thing was winning unless it was like as strong as Weatherman. You know what I'm saying? But that was definitely not the case. I will say this though, it was rusted and old. So I feel like if it was not rusted and old, it'd be a menace. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time too, I'm not entirely sure to say like if they would, if they, even if it was new, it would matter. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If that machine was 100% new, do you think they would have a easy time going into the facility? I assume not. Uh, but that's just my logical guess based just on a few things. Because one, first of all, the only reason they were winning against that thing was they were putting pressure on it. And of course, they are rarely wearing it out because at this point, it's probably like multiple decades, millions of years old or something like that. Because we know the game lore, Terry's is back for a long time. So that thing was rusty as hell. Um, but they just bodied that thing. But it's hilarious. As soon as they beat the thing, right? 
they just made sure to double down on it and beat the crap out of it. And we get into like our first game reference where like they mentioned the whole point of a key card in game or getting access to the thing. So our boys over here try to hack the facility with his level one skill. Keep in mind, this facility is probably a level 100 facility. So him just trying to get into it is hilarious. He found a workaround though by using the facility weapons. He could go in there for free which was pretty smart in all fairness, but I thought they were originally gonna beat that monster. It was gonna drop a key card, but it didn't do that, which I'm not kind of surprised about, but I was like, oh, expecting maybe something like Rust where you go and Rust, right? And it's like the second reference where like you go to like oil carrier or, or wherever you go and you get a key card. And usually the higher the level ones, the higher you get. Of course you want the highest one to go get access to oil rig. But that wasn't the case here. They just didn't get access to that. But they found the item they were looking for. And I just found it so hilarious that the boys are trying to find the stuff. And of course, our boy finds a secret lore reference. So my question with it is now, is that monster that you show the Omega symbol, the, the boss, the final boss? Or is that some form of like just invader? Because we know there's some form of invaders that happened a while back. That's my question. Because we don't really know what's that the whole lore of the story but like we now know there's something to it with that thing i don't think that's the final boss it'd be interesting if it was it might just be a reference it would be hilarious if that wasn't the true final boss it's like a variation of it like they're the final boss in the game you can do the storyline but the hidden storyline with the claws was another boss after them that'd be an interesting concept to really think about but uh they found the thing they were looking for it's so funny because she literally found the other rabbit Emil, ML, ML, I'm gonna say her name wrong. She just finds it on the desk, and I'm just like, bro. And of course, everyone's looking for it, and of course, she finds it first, and it's just like hilarious because, like, she just like joking around with finding stupid shit. And it's just like, she finds it, and then as soon as she finds it, they're about to leave, he wants to dip because he wants to work on his stuff. And then his voice is just like, pull behind him, and they're like, yo, where do you think you're going, bro? Where you going, dude? We got to talk. And then they just sell them out to the, he like, he sold them out to the librarian and they're getting already targeted because of the fact it's so popular now being colossal by like the attacker guild and all that jazz. And now, he, and he also sold them out to the librarian. I think I mentioned that already, but it's so funny cause they, they were like talking about that and they're like, you putting everything on us. And of course they snitched so hard to the animal guild because they love the rabbit that he got ratted out to. And that is just so freaking funny. Oh my God, bro. This is such a good episode. Like, oh yeah. But that's my reaction to uh, Shangri-La Frontier episode two. If you guys enjoyed my reaction here today, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed to miss on future reactions. And I'll see you for one, Jimin, out.